y'all welcome back to another hair video i'm working with icy hair they sent me over their yaki straight 24 inch wig and this is a glueless wig y'all this is my first time ever trying a glueless wig and when i tell you the lace was lacing the lace on this is really nice and the construction of the wig you have two different hooks you can use or bands i should say and this one i like to use this one because it has that gummy texture on it and it gives the wig uh more secure and i love that the combs are removable so if you don't want to have the combs to you know secure the wig you can also take them off and if a lot of girls they like to sew their wigs down for more security and i was gonna do that but i'm like no let me just use the combs and see how they work and they're pretty good Don't get me wrong, I love the whole concept of a glueless wig. I feel like it's so nice if, you know, you're not really good with hair. And it's something quick and easy. But I would like to at least spray a little hairspray on the lace to make sure it's fully secured. Just, you know, throughout the day, I don't want my wig to end up slipping off. But, you know, the combs are attached in underneath your real hair or braids or whatever you have underneath. But for me, I still need to at least have some type of spray like a holding spray. This wig is actually really nice. The, the knots on them are really thin, so the hairline eats, okay? Y'all, the most thing I'm excited about this wig is the ear design because if you know, if you wear wigs, you know how it's hard it is to put it behind your ear. But the way this wig is made, they have it cut out for the shape of your ear so it goes around your ear. So that is clutch. I almost forgot about that. You can tell how I was looking in the video. And I don't know if you can see, I don't know if it's because the wig is glueless, but the little hairs in the front, they was all over the place. I'm like, oh my goodness. But um, I just used some hairspray and kind of brushed them back a little. But that's the only con I would say about the wig is, I think just because it is glueless, the hairs in the front are, I don't know, they're just like a lot of flyaways and they get out of place easily, if that makes sense. Um, you can see it, but yeah, that's the only thing I don't really like. And this wig is on a thinner side, so if you do prefer a thicker wig, I don't think this wig will be for you. But if you want something that's easy to tame, I would do this wig because this is considered a silky yaki wig. So yeah, I thought I should throw that in there so you can know. <laughs> 